guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Crafting in the Kitchen. So today we are going to be taking this picture that I got at uh, Hobby Lobby at 75% off and uh, yes there are some holes drilled in here already because we're going to make a tray out of this so I had my husband do that for me real quick before I got started on this because I have to tell you I am not that good at drilling a straight hole only with my drill press and my drill press is kind of not working well right now so I had him do that for me and I have these handles that will go in there and I am going to be using chalkboard paint I've never used chalkboard paint before so I'm going to paint this and I'm going to try my best not to cover up the bless our nest part here I'm going to go around it best I can hopefully it will work and I'm going to keep uh, the outside the way it is because it's white with some uh, dark gray on it anyway so I think it will look perfect and uh, we will get started on that uh, but before we get started I just want to uh, tell everybody that I'm sorry I didn't get my video up on Monday I was going to show my pond and my backyard garden but you know what I had a lot of weeding to do on Saturday and it starts storming in the afternoon so I had to quit what I was doing we had a lot of lightning and thunder and a lot of rain and I think maybe a little, little bit of hail happened too so it was pretty bad and that lasted for quite a while so I wasn't able to go back out and get that done I had to finish up what I was doing on Sunday so I didn't get everything quite done and I even had to uh, get my little pond back out to uh, you know with a lot of rain we've been having there's a lot of worms in my pond I don't know why that happens all the time but I had to get the pond back out and try to get some of the debris out and as I was doing that there's a little bit of algae in there and I kind of hit it in one spot and it went all up into the pond and all the water was green and I thought well you know maybe it will settle down in a few hours no it didn't it stayed green for the rest of the day but it's all nice and clear now it finally settled down again and I got everything cleaned out so I am hoping I can get all that done for Friday on a video and you know possibly maybe tomorrow we might do a tablescape too I don't know I'm gonna go down and see what I can find now we're gonna get started on the tray and I am going to do uh, the painting. It will be to music for you, and it's going to be sped up a little bit because I know it's going to take me quite a while to go around this bless our nest area. So let's go ahead and get started on it.
Okay, so I have this much done. You know, it took a lot longer than I thought it would. Not that easy. And you know what? When I first opened up this can of paint, it looked really dark blue. More of a navy. But now I can see it's looking black. It had me scared there for a minute. Like I said, I've never used uh, chalk paint before. So now I'm going to get a little bit bigger brush and get the rest of it done here. And it's probably going to need a second coat. So let me go grab a bigger brush and we'll finish this up. Okay, so now I have the first coat on. I'm going to let this dry. Put a second coat on, and it should be ready to go at that point, and we will put the handles on. Okay, so it is uh, almost dry now. And I think it turned out really nice. Took a little while to clean this up a little bit. Try to go a little bit uh, slower with the brush going around it. So now, uh, with the holes already drilled, uh, all my husband did was, of course, you measure to where it's in the middle for your handles, measure where it is, and he took one drill bit and did it all the way through where the screw, about the same size as the screw, then he took another drill bit and drilled in the top a little bit because you can leave this up if you want, but I want it to go flush. So he did that. And then on the back, it is a little bit, uh, another drill bit that is the size, a little bit bigger than the head of the screw, so the screw will fit down in there. Now. To uh, screw the handles on. Need some light there. I'm just using my uh, screwdriver instead of the electric drill. handle the other side and I got these handles at Hobby Lobby and they were half off now, I was thinking they were $4.99 a piece and these are really uh, heavy wrought iron type handles Very ornate. This one's not one to go in. All right. Put them on here. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> Fell out of my hand. All right. So there it is. Now I'm gonna move the camera a little bit back and we'll see it 
in the entirety. Let's see what it looks like. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so here's how it turned out. I really love the results of this. Um, I did take a little bit more time on my second coat around the lettering so it would look a lot neater. Because I, when I did the first coat, you know, I was going to look, trying to go a little bit fast because it did take quite a time to do this and I didn't want the video to be too long. So um, basically, I got this for $11.24. And then the handles, they were $4.99 a piece, but they were half off, so that's $5 for that. And the chalkboard paint I already had, but I'm not sure how much I paid for it, but I don't think it was too much. So, you know, if you're talking around $20 here, now I have something I can hang, because there are hangers on it, so I can hang it if I want to, or I can put it on the table and use it as a tray. And I think I'm gonna use it on a tray as a tray in the family room here on the coffee table because I have a pretty big size coffee table since it's round. And this is just a little bit bigger than the tray here on my kitchen table. So I wouldn't be able to use it in here. It's just too big. But uh, you know, it would also look nice hanging on my wall back here. And I have the black and white buffalo chip there. So that's another idea too. Because I will be uh, changing out some of my decor here since uh, I have announced that we're doing some house hunting and we haven't found anything yet. My husband was out of town last week and of course I found one house that I really, really liked. And guess what? Since he wasn't here, couldn't go see it. And it went under contract in three days. Yes, three days under contract. So it went under contract while he was still gone. Didn't get a chance to see it. But you know what? I'm not ready yet. I still have a lot to get done here. and. Uh, Speaking of that, a lot to get done. I am gonna be tackling the basement and I will be showing everybody how ugly it really is right now. It's got tons of stuff in there and I gotta get put away because I know everybody uh, was wanting to see my basement. I haven't showed that yet and I do have something around uh, the wet bar that's uh, different with the wine corks. So I will be hopefully getting down there this weekend and getting that done and I'll do a little bit of videotaping. I'm not going to do a cleaning video. I mean, this will take me a few, maybe up to three hours to get it cleaned out. I got to move stuff into the storage room down there and get that organized too. And I will be showing where I keep uh, all my dishes. And speaking of dishes, hopefully I can get a video up for you uh, for tomorrow for a tablescape. We'll see. But if not, I'm definitely going to get the video for the pond on Friday. And uh, it was just uh, too hot today to do some of it. It's not quite done. i got to move a few things around, get a little bit of cleanup. The, we had a lot of uh, bad weather here on the weekend in the afternoon, so I always had to stop what I was doing. But uh, like I said, hopefully I'll get it up Friday. So um, I'll quit rambling on here. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, I appreciate a big thumbs up. And I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.